This is video two in our series. This is Jen, she's the founder of the Blueberry Hill. And today, we're going to ask you, if you had to start your business over again, what would your first 100 days look like? I would get everything started with systems and do it right the first time. The last time, you know, everything was trial and error and I was just learning as I went along. It's like, I don't think I had a business license until I'd done it for two or three years, things like that. You know, didn't have a trademark, copyrights, things like that. So I'd start, get things, get fulfillment set up, get sourcing set up, you know, have a team in place and definitely always start branding. You can start branding before you even have a product with social media. You know, you should start your Instagram account and build a following in your industry before you even launch a business. My thoughts. Okay, so you would skip most of the formal paperwork. You would skip the business licenses. You would start with an Instagram account. You would just start building a brand. How would you build a brand on Instagram? Well, there's it's social proof, you know? I mean, why bother getting a license if you don't know that there's an audience for your product? So I, you know, get a name, start following accounts that you like, um, pick the industry that you're in, whether it's baby products or pet products and, or fitness, and start posting content in that genre and building a following and even before you launch your product or your brand. Okay, so with the Blueberry Hills Instagram account, which we'll link to below, what did you do specifically? Where did you get your imagery from? Um, and uh, you know that we haven't had Instagram since we started. It's newer than our company, but when we started, almost uh, we do have photography, and it's interesting because we sell to a lot of photographers. So a lot of it we just get from for free from them. Okay. And also having our products in you know 600 stores, we do have consumers that are already buying it. Almost all of our content comes from users, which is kind of nice. You know, we repost things like that. Um, but a really big way to grow is obviously giveaways and you want to, you can't just be insulated on Instagram. You have to integrate with other companies. So lots of times we'll do loop giveaways. They're not as popular as they used to be. That's a loop giveaway. Where you'll go maybe find six, eight companies that have similar amounts of followings that you do. So let's say everyone has 10,000 followers or, you know, five to 15 and you'll say, okay, and you'll tag the person in the photo and they go to the next person to the next person and then you have to follow each person in the loop in order to qualify or probably comment, answer a question. That way you get a lot of engagement through likes um, and, and just exposure or what you'll instruct people to maybe tag a friend or tag two friends and enters them to win. But with that, it helps you, um, you know, get exposure with the other companies' websites, you know, or, or followings, mm -hmm. as I should say. And even before loop giveaways, you know, part of it is just posting content and tagging other companies in the hopes that maybe someone with a couple hundred thousand followers will like the content that you tag them in and repost it and tag you and expose you to their followers. What's a good expectation of how long it should take to get 10,000 followers on Instagram? It all depends on how, you know, how you do it, how you go about it and how organically you do it too. You, you can get, I mean, anyone can buy followers, but obviously that's not going to be helpful. Uh, you want them in your industry. So expectation of 10,000, I mean, it could probably be done in a few months. I think if you really, so if, if you had, if, a, you were, if the Blueberry Hill was at zero today and in a few months, what would you do? How well, much time would you spend Well, totally different example, but my son is starting another business with me. We started okay. it three days ago. Awesome. And he has made the social media. He, it's called the Kibby Bunny. Check out our Instagram or his. He is at 492 followers and this is in like two days, right? And what this is the is, Kibby Bunny? What are they following? They're, they're, it's going to be a baby children's product, but okay. it's going to be available direct to consumer. Um, we're probably going to do some clothing, things like that, but really it's, it's, it's a way I want to start a business with my kids because they are so good at social media. They're teenagers and they get it and they get influencers and they, you know, they know Yeezy products or whatever it is that's are supreme and the drop and they know all these words that I don't know, but I, okay. I think it's relevant. Those marketing tactics like scarcity and, you know, reciprocity that, that they understand. And I think why aren't they doing it? Because they can do the hard parts, which is the social media. Okay, so how did your son get 400 followers? According to all he's doing is he's sitting following, he's following other people that follow the Blueberry Hill, number okay. one, and other baby products that I said, hey, follow this one, follow this one, follow this one, or go follow their followers. So he's really just going in and following, liking and commenting on that genre. Has and he made his first sale yet? We don't have a product yet. Okay. Our product is currently in development. Okay. And so like we're working with designers and stuff now, it probably won't launch for a couple of months, but why not have 10,000 followers when we launch the product? Right now, the only content he has on there, he's done, I think, you know, I think it's four or six or whatever. And it just says, Kibby Bunny coming soon. Got it. So 
to summarize for this set of questions, you would basically, if you were to start your business over again, you would create an Instagram account. You wouldn't worry about a business website, a business license. You wouldn't worry about creating a store and you would be creating a brand with content and see if you can get a following. Cause not true. Following. Here's what I would do. And here's okay. what we did. We had maybe four or five, when he was doing this, he had four or five names. Okay. And so we had to make sure that it was available on all platforms. Okay. So some of them were taken on Facebook or taken on the dot com. So mm -hmm. no, I wouldn't say don't start a website. You've got to find your domain. Got it. And so it's got to match. Your domain name, but you're you're going to get your about... domain name. No, I'm not worried about like any practicalities. Cause what if we never site. launch? Okay. What if we never do it? You know, mm -hmm. it's, it, this is an experiment, you know, okay. it's see, and this is like you say, start the next business. It's figuring out how to have a business as a system. Like, okay, here's how you do it. And you can just crank it through if you want to, you know, pick a product and pick an audience and add value and make it work. So yeah, it's, it's, it's making sure that all of your platforms that you are relevant on, and it might be Twitter and it might be Pinterest and Instagram, um, and the domain name. So they match. And once they're all available, I think lot, like build, build hype. Perfect. So anyways, to summarize, this is Jen. She's the founder of the Blueberry Hill. She's talking about how to grow an Instagram account and what she would do in her first 100 days. Join us tomorrow for our next question in this series. Thank you so much, Jen. Thanks, Mr. Bradshaw.